Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Benedict here again from Jardine and Company Associates. And now I want us to see how we can append tables from different Excel files. So before then, let me just try to show you the, uh, the different Excel files that we have that we need to append uh, within Power BI using Power Query. So down here we have, uh, rather we have uh, our monthly sales. So this is the file that where we have different Excel files. So we have January, we have Feb, we have so much. So these are the kind of tables that we have within each uh, and every file. We have January, we have uh, uh, six, uh, rather six columns and uh, uh, ten records. And uh, the same applies to to January. January also we have a table with six columns and 10, ten records okay uh, the same applies to uh, March March also we have a six March also we have six records uh, with the ten other six columns with 10 records so we need to pen uh, all these uh, three tables into one but they are coming from different files uh, we have a file for january file for february and a file for march so what we'll do i will take you to power bi so that we can see how we can append the three uh, the three uh, tables from different files. So when we are in Power BI, what we'll do is go to Home tab as usual. Then we'll uh, click on uh, Get Data. Then now instead of cl clicking Excel file or rather choosing the data source as Excel workbook, we'll go to uh, More More Data Sources because we don't have a single Excel workbook. There are quite a number. So after going to, rather after clicking on more uh, data sources, uh, we'll get to a folder. We'll choose a folder as our data source. It's a little bit slow. So let me try again with that scan. So I will choose this folder here and then connect. Then after connecting now we need to paste the, uh, the, the folder path or we can as well browse. So let us browse. So I will go to uh, this PC and a new uh, volume E then uh, BI reports, I will go to Power BI, then the basics, then I will choose monthly sales. Okay. And from here, now we need to transform the data. We already have uh, the three files the Excel files, you can see the content and the name. And then we'll click transform, that will take us to Power Query Editor. Then from here now we need to get the tables uh, uh, from the from the query that we have as monthly sales. So the folders come here as a query and this we call here monthly sales. So we need to get the uh, the queries within uh, this query. So what we'll do? We are so much we are all interested in the content and the name of the the files. So these are the uh, data is not necessary. So we'll uh, uh, select uh, the first column and the second column for content and name, and then right click and remove other columns. Then from here we'll go to add column. Then we'll choose. Uh, we'll click on custom column. 
then after clicking custom column we need to write a formula here a custom column formula that we can use to access the the files or other the queries within this uh, monthly sales query so here we'll write excel then we need to choose excel.workbook then we'll open bracket then choose uh, content then we'll close the bracket then click ok and then from here now we have a custom uh, column and uh, within the custom column just on the right hand side we have two arrows so we need to click on these two arrows to give us uh, uh, the various columns that we have within uh, within those uh, files or within those uh, uh, columns uh, within uh, uh, the tables that you want to access then again we'll click OK then after clicking OK we've been given quite a number of uh, details but we are only interested in the tables within the files so we'll uh, come to uh, custom kind and uh, we'll choose uh, rather we are interested in custom data and uh, the tables uh, within uh, uh, those files so we, what we'll do we'll uh, choose uh, these two columns custom data and the custom kind and then we'll uh, remove other columns and then within custom kind let me just try to undo the the last step i wanted these two columns the custom data and uh, the custom kind then we'll right click and remove all the columns so we have these two columns so i will go to i will first come to this custom kind because i want i just want the tables of the sheets i will click on this arrow then instead of selecting all i will select a uh, table then okay then after selecting the table again now i just uh, want to or expand on this custom data i want to know the i want to access the, the data within the, the table so i will come, come to this uh, custom data and, and click on these uh, two arrows that one faces left the other one facing right then uh, you can see now the kind of columns that we have within those uh, tables then i will click ok so when I click OK, you can see now the kind of columns that we have. Uh, but we are not interested in, uh, rather we are not interested in the custom kind now. We are just in, interested in the, uh, the tables that have been appended and they are coming from different uh, Excel files. So again, what I will do, I will uh, do away with the expanded rather with the last applied step and then i will do away with this custom kind i will remove this column for custom kind then i will click again on these arrows and then now instead of using original column name as prefix i will untick this uh, uh, this option then i will click ok so now you can see the kind of uh, data that we have within our tables that have been appended coming from different excel files then from here now we need to uh, we need to change the data type for each and every column like now date we need to change it to date uh, type of data so i will click on this abc123 to change the data type to date then the serial number as well i will come to abc123 and change this one to whole number then the product column will leave it as it is and the selling price will again change the data type to whole number then the discount will change to a decimal then quantity also will change to whole number 
So read our data is ready for being loaded into our Power BI. So what we'll do, we'll again go to Home tab, then we'll click uh, Close and Apply. But before we click Close and Apply, we can also re rename this to uh, Jan. Jan to match sales. Then now we can click close apply. So here we have our table. We have our table for sales from January to March. And then we can as well see what kind of uh, uh, fields that we have within the table and what kind of data we have in each and every uh, column within those uh, within the table so we'll uh, come and click here data view and then we can see the kind of data that we have in each and every column and the columns here is what we are calling the fields so these are what we have within each and every column. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you understood how we can append uh, uh, different tables from different Excel files. So thanks a lot for watching and let's meet again in the next video.